So let's talk a little bit about the metaverse. I'm going to define it first. You know, there's many different ways to define the metaverse. Uh, maybe the easiest way is it's the next generation of the internet where we're using Web3 technologies and we have three-dimensional capabilities. But in a more formal way, I'm going to talk about the metaverse as a virtual, and virtual means it's not real, but the software has created it to look real, three-dimensional, immersive, and that's very important, you go into the metaverse environment where you can do many things. You can explore the various virtual worlds. You can meet and communicate with your friends or with business people. You can attend different meetings or events. You can be creative. You can have fun. You know, it's, you can learn. There's lots of different things you can do inside the metaverse. Now, one thing of great importance, the metaverse is not necessarily for everybody. So what I did here is I began to look at some of the demographic or, or personas by, by age. So, and what we see in the upper left corner is Gen Z, which is ustedes. This is really what is driving the metaverse. It's not, you know, the, my baby boomer generation. It's really not even the Generation X or even the millennials, which is Generation Y. What's driving the metaverse is the, the Gen Z, born between 1997 and 2012. And I believe in order to understand this generation, in order to live in a virtual dream world, you really have to understand, you know, que pasa en la, en la cabeza del Generation Z. And for this, I'd recommend a book called Z Economy, if you haven't read it. This is a wonderful book that really helps to understand the important role that all of the Gen Zs like yourself will play in the future. 